to KCENTV.com. Now let's get to our final four coverage. Don't be content when you get there, okay? Don't be content, just keep, keep playing. Coverage of the 2019 Women's Final Four is brought to you by Jeff Hunter Toyota. While the Baylor Lady Bears are headed to the national championship, our crew was there last night for their big win over Oregon. Sports director Nick Canizales is in Tampa where it was a big moment for head coach Kim Mulkey and her daughter Mackenzie. Well, that's right, Amani. Not many college athletes get to play and coach for one of their parents, but Mackenzie Fuller is one of the few. Mackenzie's time with her mother has coincided with the program's greatest stretch of success. Mackenzie has seen every Baylor Final Four from a different perspective. She witnessed Baylor win their first national championship as a daughter. Seven years later, she was cutting down the nets as a player. Now, Mackenzie serves as Associate Director of Basketball Operations. This entire journey has not only been special to her, but the entire family. As Kim Mulkey says, it all comes full circle. Well, it certainly is full circle and not many coaches get to have their child on their staff and get to have a grandson in the stands. Uh, we miss Kramer, certainly, but he's, he's got to, uh, he's a professional baseball player now and he's where he has to be and needs to be and should be. Um, it's just, I guess you call it the, the circle of life. This one has been really special though, especially having my son now with me and uh, just being with my whole family getting to come and um, I guess that's a different aspect to it and changes your perspective a little but nothing like it as a player and nothing like it as a coach and mom now so they're all a tie for now. <laughs> and we'll have much more with the Lady Bears coming up later on in sports. Imani back to you. All right thanks Nick. A few new Lady Bears have been stepping up in big ways throughout the season. One of those who will play for a championship as just a freshman is post player Nalissa Smith. Now, last year, Smith was playing in the McDonald's High School All-American game as a senior at East Central High School in San Antonio. Now she's one win from helping Baylor to its third national championship. For her, this experience is exciting and not just for reasons tied to this season, with three seasons remaining in Waco, Smith is hoping not only to win the program's third national championship, but also hopes to build momentum for the rest of her Baylor career. She really just like train, 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 because I have like a lot of unfinished business that I know. I know I have like a lot still like to show people and a lot to like play for, but as a team, we just got to stay focused. We're going to have new people coming in. We just got to teach them like the, the same way we're playing. Now, if you can't make it to the big championship game, you can still cheer the Lady Bears on at the Farrell Center in Waco tomorrow. Doors open at 4.30. The Lady Bears take on Notre Dame at 5. Well, still ahead on Channel 6 News at 10 from Tampa Bay, we break down what the Lady Bears can expect on the court from their opponent in tomorrow's big championship game. Plus, how the Baylor Lady Bears are keeping a cool head as they gear up for one of the biggest games of their lives. Stick with us.